Get over here! Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. I am the Green Scorpion, here as usual with... The Comic Foil. How long? Man. It's... it's been a while. You... you... You explored an entire space station in the time since we played Mario Golf last. Quite, I mean, quite literally. If you, especially if you've been to the movies. Yeah. I mean, all things considered. How's it going, guys? It's uh, it's uh, good to be back. Um, we're here in Blooper Open, playing as Mario. Um, don't want to do a power shot. Actually. We're, we're back to Mario because we just need more crazy cartwheel birdies. Yeah. Also, like if I were to use Peach all the time, it's just like I like Peach in this game. I do. But, I recognize that, like, it's good to have more other characters. Well, I see what you're going for with, like, a, you know, you did two Peach, this is two Mario. Yeah, and for the last two, we are actually going to have uh, another character, and you guys will see who that is in due time. Man, I wish there were more than six courses. I, ju I just really like this game, so I just want more. Yeah, like, I mean, there are extra stuff, but really, like, the main courses are where it's at. Yeah, you can do, like, you, you can do, like, the ring challenges, but... Uh, that was a that was a batch. Oh wow! What the? Did I hit something? What did I hit? I have no idea what just happened. That was weird. You like? I think it's because I used a drive and I probably hit a hill. Did, um, did you use the? Did you switch to a putter? Like what? What just happened? I don't think I did. I'm pretty certain I did, and otherwise I wouldn't have had to do the. I couldn't have done that topspin. And Green Scorpion plans to put his way to this par four hole. That's that's not funny. It's a little funny. <laughs> okay, maybe it is. All right, so let's say we start what we what we're here for. We got some questions to ask. All right, so um, I'll let you finish this hole, but um, just so you know, these are collected from all four of the current Mario Golf video comment sections so far. Um, so if you guys are gonna want to ask us more questions, maybe Ugh. put them all in the comment section of this video now. So yeah. That, like, can be finding the new ones. Mm -hmm. that, that would just help me out, so thank you. But yeah. thank you for, for this huge selection of questions. We got a lot to work with I'm looking here. forward to this. Unfortunately, we're off to a, not a very good start with that bogey, but I'll make up for it. It's okay, Mario. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, first question. So we're going to start on a very positive note from Jonathan Kimmel. Ooh, I know him. If you could punch any one video game character in the face or throat or kidney, who would it be and why? Um... I, I would say Christoph Gavin from from Apollo Justice, but I feel like that's cheating because I've already expressed my hatred for him. Well, well, that's a good reason to punch him. I mean, yes, like, I obviously despise him because of, like, everything he did, and you guys know the gist, like, for those of you who watch my countdown, and for anyone who's played Apollo Justice, I'm pretty sure you guys agree with me on that. Um, a couple of others, obviously, there's... You know what? No, I wouldn't want to punch Gangrel, because I... I while I do hate him, he has... He still has that one redeeming factor and it annoys me. We already stabbed him several times. We don't... Let, like, what's the point of punching him at this point? Point taken, and... I think and Phoenix Wright is a good... I, I think Phoenix Wright is a good choice. Um, Gavin is a good choice because it's a character that you never actually get to physically harm. Yeah. So punching him is kind of an extra, you know, it's adding injury to insult. Uh-huh. And another one that's, like, on a similar tone, there's also Bill Hawks. Uh, from uh, Professor Layton in the Unwound Future. Oh, that character I despise so much. I always thought he looked like the guy from Up. He kind of does, doesn't he? Yeah. A little bit, but I don't want to give him that any any form of any form of justification like that because I loved uh, I love Mr. Uh, Fredrickson. I still haven't <laughs> Mr. Fredrickson. See, that's why I couldn't punch him because I think of Mr. Fredrickson and start crying. Okay, like this whole this this course <laughs> is not going great at all. Speaking of crying. Oh, goodness, good nor good bleh, good lord. Good lord. <sighs> all right, what about you? If you could punch a character in the face. Um. I don't know. It's really tough. Uh. I, I've just had Fire Emblem Fates on the brain so much, I really want to oh, punch... Oh, th there are plenty of characters in there we want to punch. Sorry, guys, I really want to punch Corrin. You you and me both! Can, can we... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead and give them the explanation as to why you and I hate Corrin. At least, like, the, okay, cliff I'm notes gonna, here. I'm gonna like, give a you, summary. I'm gonna give you the one big thing. There's a few things. I'm not saying, like, me and Corrin couldn't be friends, but he just... He has a punch coming his way. Oh, and this it. is why. Okay, so he's this blank slate character, alright, with... 
A really confusing backstory that they neglect to explain to you for a while, but the one real defining feature you do get of his backstory is that he's lived in Nor and basically had to live in the Northern Fortress for his entire, entire life. Like, sure, he had, like, his siblings came and visited him, and he had, like, you know, staff who were practically his family, and he loved them and stuff. He was loved, he was cared for, but he wasn't allowed to leave this fortress. He was isolated, and that was something he hated. He always wanted to leave. Then he has a child... All right. Yeah. And Kana, who loves him or her, I realize Corrin can just as easily be a female character. Yes, so yes, yes. It's, and it's so the, and so can Kana as a result. It's, it's the same either way. I, w I would more punch male Corrin. I'm just not comfortable punching a woman. But true enough. The thing is, I, I will say this much about m female Corrin. Her dialogue is written differently than male Corrin. Yeah. As a result, she's a little more different, a little more dignified. So Corrin, so Corrin has a child. And what does Corrin do with this child? forces them to live practically alone in a deep wet realm. Like, as if having to spend your whole childhood in a dank fortress all alone wasn't bad enough. He, like, banishes her to an alternate dimension. And time moves differently there, so Kana's actually growing up, like, way faster. So Kana's going years on end without ever seeing her father. And every time you go there, Kana's like, Papa, I'm so happy to see you. It's so great. She loves him so much, and he doesn't freaking... Return it! I can see, like, he's, the steam rising from your he's head. He's so stupid! That doesn't... Uh, and that's only one issue we have with the guy. And, and like... Or girl. They, however they, you see it. They give, give you that, like, pretty much everybody in Fire Emblem Fates has the same problem, and I don't get it, because they're like, it's for their protection, yada yada, because it's a dangerous place, so why don't... First of all, every per kid who's living in a deep realm eventually gets attacked, so... It's not like they were much safer in their deep realm. All of their deep realms get invaded at one point or another, or some of them come through. Some of them venture out into the real world because they don't want to be in the deep realm anymore, and all that does is just foster this deep hate with their parents. Which, also, which, which was evident in certain characters, like Nina. They have their own deep realm with this huge hideout that you can garrison and protect however you want, and this huge regiment of soldiers, not just the playable characters. like. Like, it's shown that there are just soldiers all over the place in your fortress. Like, that is the safest place for them. But no, you just, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, like, I want to be like, Corrin, buddy, punch him in the face, explain what he did wrong, and then we can be cool. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. And for those of you wondering, but all of the parents uh, put him in the deep rounds. Most of them did. A couple of them didn't, actually. I mean, they put him in the deep rounds, yes, but they had the... But a couple of them did have free reign to go wherever. Yeah, uh, one in particular, Soleil, Soleil was one. Soleil, Mi sorry. Midori was one. Yeah, that's why she's. Have you noticed that the that the kids that didn't spend their entire time in the deep realms and were free to do whatever they want end up being the best? Yeah, yeah Soleil the best. is fantastic. Midori is cute as heck. And like. You know, that's not even going through like what Forrest goes through. Ah, uh, yeah. J just a lot of. I don't know if I should be punching Corrin or punching the writers of Fire Emblem Fates. And quite frankly, I don't think we should dwell on this topic any more than because we're already on the fourth hole and we've only gotten one question. Yeah. <laughs> Let's save this conversation for when we actually tackle a video discussing everything that we want to express because so many people are asking my opinion about that ever since I did he, the five minute reflections. Did don't the even five get minute, started. He did the five minute reflections. Like, five minutes was not enough. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Here's the thing, guys. I'm going to just clarify this right now. I love Fire Emblem Fates as a game. I don't like it at all as a narrative. That's my consensus on it. I, I don't hate the game. I love it. But it's a, it's a terribly written mess. Anyway, next question! Alright, uh, I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit. So, Please do. <laughs> um, this, this is from <sighs> Megan Payette. Or Payette. Um, Megan Payette. Okay. Going with that one. Hi, Megan. Hi. Uh, this is to the, to the Green Scorpion and Comic Foil. Who is your favorite Hy Hyrule Warriors character? And if Koei slash King Ninja makes a sequel to the game, what characters from the Zelda series do you want to see in the game? Ooh, that's a good one! Now, granted, this was posted, like, a month ago, and now we know there's going to be a Fire Emblem Heroes, but let's say it was a Hyrule Warriors 2. Right, right. Okay, so I do know who my favorite character... I'm gonna try and, like, bounce this one. I don't think it's gonna work, but here goes nothing. Let me let me take the shot real quick, and I'll answer your question. Dude, this is not gonna work. I know it's not. 
but I'm going for it anyway. Eh, I, I, I've made shots from bunkers before. I'll applaud your courage. There you go. That was my applause. You got one clap. Oof, close. All right, I'm gonna answer your question now. Um, so my favorite character in uh, in uh, bleh, sorry, uh, my favorite my, my favorite character in Hyrule Warriors is Impa. Um, cool. at least to play as because I think. Uh, well, honestly, the design... That's probably the most important thing yeah. in that kind of game. Yeah, the design of her character in, in uh, Fire Emblem... In, not Fire Emblem, in uh, Hyrule Warriors, I think is fantastic. Impa looks amazing. Yeah. Um, and while her Giant's Knife is a fantastic weapon, I'm sorry. Playing Impa with the Naginata is a joy. The Naginata is really Absolutely cool. fantastic. Um, some other characters... I love playing, like, Link. I love playing, uh... I love playing, uh... What's her name? I don't remember. L Lana? Lana, thank you. I do like playing Lana, and Ruto is a fantastic character in that game. R Ruto's great. Ruto's fantastic. Like, absolutely wonderful. Ruto's like my second favorite. Mm -hmm. Of all the characters that I can think of, though, my favorite to play as in that game is probably Impa. What about you? Uh, Darunia. Really? Yeah, I like being the big bruiser. Okay, you know what? I actually can see that. Darunia is a joy in that game as well. He's wonderful. Yeah. And he, he's, I'm sorry. He's not too slow, so I appreciate that. And I and I like that they gave him the Megaton Hammer. Like, yeah, that just makes a lot of sense from like a lore perspective because that was like the Goron Sacred Treasure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Birdie, finally, thank you. Do it, Mario. Do it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Now we're the, now that we're on a little bit of a brighter note. <laughs> um, but if they make a sequel, um, if they make a sequel, what characters? What, what Zelda character would you like to see thrown in? That's a thing, though. Hi uh, Hyrule Warrior is kind of like... Uh, kind of like... Uh, covered all their bases with this, because... Uh, like, there's just a lot of, like, really good characters in there already, and... And I remember, like, in our Spears list, we mentioned uh, Orca. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh... If they put Orca in, I would be so you, happy. You know what I think would be fantastic? Uh... Din, Farore, and Nehru. Whoa. The three goddesses. What, would you want them in their goddess form, or in like, or like the oracles from the oracle games? Um, I think maybe their oracle forms, because if if it was goddess form, that would just like they would all that, look really similar. And... Not just really similar, but it would also not makes not make a lot of sense in, in context wise. It's kind of like how Cervantes in Soul Calibur was like this big uber powerful character, but you don't get that in game. Oh shoot, I did not mean to do a backspin. I meant to do a. Uh, uh, I meant to do a top spin, but actually no, this might actually work. I'm fine. So it's two steps forward and one roll back. Uh, never mind. No. Actually, that was uh, that didn't work <laughs> out at all. Well, the back spin didn't matter. No, it because didn't. you screwed up anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think there's a lot of characters they could still do. Um, uh, give me a few because I'm actually kind of stumped. Okay. Um, because they they even got Skull Kid in there, which surprised me. Yeah, that that was that was a cool addition for the 3DS version. Um, so they don't really need them anymore. But I was thinking when it was originally announced. Ooh. Okay. That, anyway, uh, go on. That Varen and Onyx, the villains of the two Oracle games, would be really cool characters. They, they don't really need them anymore because I think what Varen would have been is now Sia. Point taken. And Link has the ball and chain weapon, which is probably most of what Onyx would do, besides turning into a dragon, and we have a character for that now, Hold too. Up. Um, so, besides that, um... You know, now that you mention uh, the other villains, there is Vati. Yeah, yeah, Vati is the big one of, like, what, where is he? And I know it's because they didn't do any Minish Cap stuff, but, like, I feel like that would be the next step, is to delve into Minish Cap. Maybe do Ezlo. Ooh, ooh, maybe, yeah. Because I do remember Ezlo does have, like, some... He, and he has a Minish form. He's actually an extremely powerful Minish wizard. He's just cursed into the form of a hat. But mm -hmm. have him while he's the wizard. Yeah, actually, no, that does... I mean, they did that... They did uh, a similar aspect with, uh, what's his name? The King of the Red Lions. Yeah, or Midna. Yeah. There, there's Twilight Midna. There is Twilight Midna, and now, uh... Uh, I'm actually gonna use a pipe here. Yeah, I'm gonna use a pipe. Uh... My other really big one is Twin Rova. Oh, Kumon Kotake. Yeah, um, and have, you know, they're, it would probably, they would fight mainly as Twin Rova, but part of their moveset would incorporate splitting uh -huh. into Kumon Kotake. <clears throat> also, um, where the heck is Naburu? 
Yeah! Where the heck is Naboo? Let's get it. Let's get a Gerudo in here. Yeah. Besides Ganondorf, they even have a desert level. L like, yeah, I, I, I understand that you're always going to want more characters. That's kind of how I'm feeling. But like, she could have, I think the weapons, I think what would have been new characters a lot of times just became weapon sets for other characters because she probably would have played like Impo with the Naginata. You're not wrong, but uh, honestly though, I don't think so. Like, given how the Gerudo fought in Ocarina of Time, I'd expect dual scimitar. Okay, I was thinking more like the guards walking around with those halberds, but yeah, the scimitars would work too. Yeah, because that's how the Gerudo fought, not only in Ocarina of Time, but in Majora's Mask too, the Gerudo Pirates. Or you could do Iron Knuckle Naburu. Yeah. And have a big old axe and armor. That, that is also a possibility. Yeah, so... And use we covered a lot of bases now. Not one, yeah, didn't we? the mirror shoot. I could probably do more, but like... Yeah, um, we... We do need to kind of move on. That's like the quote of the day, is I could keep going, but let's not. Yeah, like, that. that's that's kind of like how we treat this, isn't it? Which, honestly, like, it makes for great conversation. Okay, well, how about this one? All right, let's this, hear it. This comes from David Timmer. Mm -hmm. Any games you're excited for this coming year? <sighs> Since we were just talking about Zelda, I mean... Do, I, do we need to mention Breath of the Wild? Come on. Come on. Oh, that game looks so beautiful. I am so looking forward to it. I'm glad they showed all the different races, too, because Breath of the Wild appreciates Gerudo. Yes. Koei. Thank you. Okay, I got a, an, a, like a ton of good shots here. Oh, oh. If that drops right in. No. Nope, I needed a backspin or something. Oh well, that was a good. That was a good. Arm. It was a nice pawn. Um, other than that, I am looking forward to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But at the same time, a little like cautiously optimistic about it. Well, we don't really know what it's going to be like yet. Exactly. It's probably going to be two on twos, right? Uh, yeah. We we know it's going to be two on twos. They they did away with the assist system, and they're bringing back uh, the infinity stones. That was a really nice pun. Thank you. He's he's happy about it. <laughs> I, I like the idea of bringing back the assist characters, like the one, the, the like one use assist. Like that's how Juggernaut yeah, except, originally except was. Except apparently that's not going to be the case. Oh no, there's not going to be no assist in this one supposedly. Oh, I like, thought you no said they're bringing back. Assists. No, they're not bringing back assists at all. Weird. It's going to be two on two, and they're going to incorporate the Infinity Stones like they did in uh, in X Men: Children of the Atom. Interesting. Yeah, I thought that too, and I'm like, huh, is this the right way? Is this the right direction? Okay, let's see what you got. Like, I, I'll, I'll, I'll bite. Uh, there are obviously other games. Um, we, we, I'm pretty sure you watched the uh, the Nintendo Direct on the Switch. Yep. There's plenty of games on the Switch I'm looking for. I'm actually surprised to see Splatoon 2. I still haven't played Splatoon 1. Really? Yep. Huh. It just, it just never happened for me. I played it a little bit, and w what I played, I did like a lot. Um, I will admit, though, like it's one of those games where you play it once, and really, like it's all about the competitive after that. See, I'm just not a super competitive person, and my internet is terrible, so yeah. I, I wouldn't get... Th there is a pretty good single-player mode, I'm told. What?! That... Wow. Like, props to you for finding that tiny bunker. Uh, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Um, I also want to throw out there um, Super Mario Odyssey, which oh, is pretty yes. interesting. And getting off of Nintendo... Um, Serious? Okay, what is this? <laughs> So Mario's in a hole. It's tough down here. Down in the hole. You forget who you are down here. Oh god, I don't think I can get out of here without... Dude! There's no conceiv- Okay, there's the conceivable direction, but that's an open- There's no conceivable direction in this hole that I can get out of with a proper chip! Yeah, no, you gotta get out of there. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get to the beach to- Well, yeah. You might be able to just, like, force it out. Okay. Okay, that's doable. Good judgment on that one. I, not really, that was dumb luck. I just went for it, honestly. Well, well yeah, but you were right. I would have gone the other way. So you're going to have a much better score because of it. Am I? Um, well, assuming that you would have still done that if you went back. Point taken. Ugh, this, this, this course is giving me trouble, man. I don't think you're winning this cup. Maybe not, but we'll try it anyway. Um, also Danganronpa 3. Yes! Yes, very much looking forward to that. There's obviously Fire Emblem Warriors, which we just discussed. There's so much Fire Emblem. I They had an entire direct of Fire Emblem, and Birdo is winning with a minus seven. Well, that's what you get. Uh, all right. But no, there's plenty of games. That we're, we're looking at a good year for uh, gaming this, uh, this year, so... Um, those are the main ones I'm looking forward to right now. Um, 
So there's that. All, all, Nint all Nintendo mostly for me, except for Danganronpa. But yeah, I, I more have a back catalog of games I need to get into. Yeah, me too, honestly. Like that, 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 that's just how it is with us because yeah, like not only are we busy guys, there's money. Um, I mean the Nintendo Switch library. <laughs> there, there. <sighs> that was close. Uh, the Switch library doesn't look, the launch library doesn't look as good as it could be. Um, for me personally, that doesn't affect me because, wow! Um, can I get you a warm beverage? Like, pass me that Sprite. Yeah, here you go, man. Pass me that Sprite. Drown your troubles. 